Hi guys, Maggie Make It Go here with another how-to video. Check out our other videos if you want to see something different. We upload every Friday. We have crafts, DIY, life hacks and general advice. Comment below if there's something you want us to include. Today I'm going to try and clean this bathroom floor. So I think it is cement tile. So what I've done is I've just swept out all the loose particles. Um, so as you can see, it's a very dirty floor, um, but as well as that, it's got a lot of dust from sanding and paint splatters, and it's just generally not in great condition at all. Now, the first thing I would do, obviously, sweep it out, and after that, I want to wash it with a tile cleaner, but I don't have any. <laughs> so what I've got to work with are these three products here. So I've got a grout cleaner, a bath and shower cleaner, and a handy andy original, just a general cleaner. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is try the handy andy first, mop the floor and see how that comes up. So it does say you can use it diluted or undiluted. If you use it undiluted, you're supposed to um, use a rag and scrub the floor. I'm going to do it undiluted, but I am actually going to use a scrubbing brush and scrub the whole floor. It's obviously not a very big space, so I can do that. So that's after scrubbing the whole floor with undiluted Handy Andy cleaner. Um, I'm actually going to leave that on there for about 20 minutes, half an hour, and come back and wash it off. There is a drain just over there. All right, it's actually been closer to an hour. Um, and the floor actually looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna rinse it off and try and scrub it a bit more. So as you can see, there is just heaps of paint that I don't think I'm gonna get off. Alright, so I will rinse the floor and then I might look at putting some of that tile and grout cleaner on. So what I actually did instead of just rinsing is I put a whole lot of water on and then I got the scrubbing brush and I scrubbed and it's actually turned out really quite good. It took me quite some time um, because dog hair kept blocking the drain so I had to keep clearing that out um, but I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out um, but what I am going to do you can see a dirty mark um, is I'm going to take a toothbrush and I'm going to use this heavy duty DTA grout cleaner so it says just to spray on let it penetrate and then um, go over with a brush so I'm just going to put that in the grout and uh, we'll see how that turns out all right, so this is the grout cleaner. Um, I have scrubbed all the grout with this toothbrush um, and I'm pretty happy with what's happened. So now I'm just actually, just gonna see if I can get this mark off. I don't think I can. <laughs> So now I'm going to rinse. Alright, the last thing I'm going to do is dry the floor. So I've just got an old towel. If 
If you do have a bathroom that's got a drain in the floor, um, when you do this, just make sure you take note of where the water's going. So one thing I discovered is that that's not sealed. <laughs> so um, I will need to seal that because it means that water is running there where it shouldn't be. So that's the floor done. I think it looks pretty good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content. Um, please subscribe to our channel if you wanted to see more DIY videos. Let us know what you think and I will see you next time.